the end of the day, it comes down to yield. That's the biggest thing we're shooting for as we're trying to push yield to the next level. Micro Essentials is one way that helps us get there. Join me today as we're here in sunny North Dakota in a cornfield where we'll meet with Jacob Gaden to discuss crop deficiencies and how advanced crop nutrition can help with that. I'm Sherry Cook. I am a 30-year veteran in the egg industry, and we're gonna help you learn more about your farming operations and crop nutrition. Good morning, how are you doing today? Good, how are you doing, Sherry? Well, welcome to the Advanced Crab Nutrition Show. And so, introduce yourself so everybody knows who you are. My name is Jacob Gaden, a sales agronomist for uh, a local co-op in the area. Grew up on a small dairy farm in central Minnesota, kind of where I got my background in egg. Been in this role for about six years now. This weather is crazy. How much rain have we got in here? You know, how's that affecting the crop? We got another two inches or so the last couple days. We're probably on eight to 10 inches in some of this area for May and June, so. Plenty of moisture right now. It's slowed planting progress, but uh, most of the crops finally in. This time of the year, what are some of the key things that you're doing and what are some of the things that you're looking for? Kind of just wrapping up an extended planting window here, but now finally getting out, scouting fields, seeing how the crop looks, getting a lot of the crop sprayed, checking on how crop progress is looking across the area. And as you're scouting a lot of fields, what are some key things you're seeing? I mean, with the rain, pre's have worked very good. Weed control has been good across things. Crops behind progress a little bit, just we've been behind on heat units. A few nutrient deficiencies starting to show up here and there, but that's pretty common to see this time of year. So oftentimes, nitrogen, sulfur, those two get confused just because they look very similar. Are you seeing some of those things in the field? Drive around the country, you'll start to see some wheat and corn fields start to look yellow, especially on hilltops and side hills. First thing people go to is nitrogen deficiency. This time of year, people think they're short on nitrogen, but a lot of times it's sulfur that that crop's a little short on. So how do you tell the difference? Nitrogen's mobile in the plant, Sulfur is immobile in the plant, so if that top of the plant is what's turning yellow, more often than not it's sulfur. There can be some other micronutrient deficiencies that look similar, but in our neck of the woods, most of the time it's a sulfur deficiency. The other thing to look for is you'll see some yellow striping. The corn leaf will still be green, or if it's nitrogen, it'll be those bottom leaves that start flaring first. What are a few things that farmers can do? What are some solutions to some of these deficiency issues they have out in the field? Oh, I think it all starts with a soil test, first and foremost. I mean, we do the majority of our soil testing in the fall, around here after harvest. It all starts with a good fertility program. If you can zone or grid soil sample, that's always better to break out some of that variation within fields and just making sure our fertility program across the board is supplying everything that plant needs for the upcoming growing season. Depending on what their crop needs, we use a lot of Micro Essentials SZ on both corn and wheat. In our area, we need sulfur pretty much on every acre for both corn and wheat. The ratio that's in Micro Essentials works out pretty good for both crops, actually. So we're talking about different nutrients and comparing to other products. And when you bring Micro Essentials to the farm, is it a hard sell? What, what, what do farmers say? I think a lot of it's the simplicity of the product. I mean, you have nutrients that we need all in one granule. But you don't have to worry about any blending issues. You know you have phosphorus, you have your sulfur, and you have your zinc in every single granule out there. The two forms of sulfur helps too. I mean, as well as we've been this spring, there's definitely been some uh, leaching in our For soils, sure. so some of that sulfate sulfur's probably leached down a little bit further than we'd like, but we have that elemental side to uh, slowly release over time to hopefully supply some uh, season-long sulfur availability. Microcentrals SZ is obviously a a big product for you. So you apply in the spring, you apply in the fall, and, and what are some of the benefits you see with having those two forms of sulfur? Well, I mean, I think in our area, there's a lot of fall application, especially with wheat and rotation. Guys are able to get some fertilizer put in the fall. I think having those two forms of sulfur in Microessentials SZ kind of hedges our bets. You have that sulfate sulfur that's gonna be available right away if we're relatively dry and we don't get the heat to get some of that elemental sulfur to mineralize. If we get a lot of rain like we have this spring, we should be getting more mineralization out of that elemental sulfur if that sulfate sulfur has leached a little bit below where those roots are. It's a good backup, right? Yep, agreed. Our last few episodes, we've been focusing on microessentials, fusion technology. We toured a test farm, we've toured a lab, how the thought processes come about and how they come to fruition. And so we're in the field today. How do you utilize that in the field? At the end of the day, it comes down to yield. I mean, that's, that's the biggest thing we're shooting for is we're trying to push yield to the next level. And I mean, micro essentials is one way that helps us get there. The other side of things is logistics. I mean, I think in farming, there's agronomics versus logistics with everything. You wanna do everything 
perfectly ergonomically, but sometimes, whether it's the weather, time frame, you just don't have time to do that. I think Micro Essentials helps solve some of that problem. Micro Essentials made simple. Easy for you as a retailer, easy for the grower. Today, we're gonna go meet with Ben Levis, uh, one of our customers that uses Micro Essentials SD. Very progressive grower that isn't afraid to push yield. We're gonna go check out some of his corn today. Awesome, let's go take a look. Sounds good. Sounds like we've got our next episode set, so join me as we meet with Ben Levis and we talk about advanced crop nutrition and how Mike Essentials helps boost his yields. 